Hi everybody, this is your fifth and final lesson on your non-chronological report writing week all about the Alps. Okay, so today I want you to have a think about what you've written. Is there anything that you've missed out that you think actually I'd still really like to tell my reader that because it's an interesting fact or you just want to add a bit more detail? So what you could do is having looked at the plan that you've written from and the PowerPoint or the information, you can create your own did you know box or, or as well as you can create a glossary as well. So firstly, look at the did you know box. This could be a fact box. Did you know the most interesting fact about the Alps? OK, so have a think about if you'd like to add that in today and make a note of that and then come to the glossary. If there are words that you don't think you've explained in enough detail, then you can create your own glossary today. So the fold mountains, these are mountains that are formed when tectonic plates collide. That might just need explaining again to your reader, because remember, they don't know anything about this topic yet. OK, so there are two things that just want to pause the video, read through your own work, make a decision. Did you know box or a fact box? Is there anything you'd like to add in that? And then secondly, which words are going to need to be clarified in the glossary if you think they need to be? OK, do that for me now, please. Right. Once you've done that, Today's main focus is to check and edit our own work, OK? So you need to check that you've added all the information you can. Is there any uh, paragraph that actually, do you know what, it's not quite long enough, you need to do a bit more research or you could add something into it and think about that. Do you think about the language and the structural features? Have you included all of those, OK? Don't forget we've also been looking at varying the conjunctions that we've used and also the way we've started sentences. If you think that actually when you read it through, it sounds a bit repetitive, you've started sentences all in the same way, then go back to the lesson that it talks about sentence openers and add some of them in now. And then, of course, check for spelling. OK, common words that you can often misspell. Just go back and check them, but also technical words as well. And again, you should be able to find those on the PowerPoint. OK, absolutely nothing wrong with editing and self-correcting our work. It's a really important process of writing. OK, so now you've actually done the writing, I want you to think about how you're going to sort of present it, OK, because this is a piece of work that can be used. It's, a, it's writing for a purpose. OK, so what we could do is we could change this information um, as if it's a page in an encyclopedia, like you saw right at the beginning of the week. It could be a leaflet. It could be a PowerPoint. Some of you might have had a go at doing PowerPoint slides at home for different things. Um, or even a web page, so creating the inf this information for as a web page, okay? Please don't worry if you've not done any of those things, because I'm going to show you a way that you can do it really quite easily, okay? Whichever way you are presenting your information, you've got to make sure that you are still using paragraphs to, or to organise your writing, okay? It doesn't matter whether it's on a web page or on a leaflet, it's still got to be organised into paragraphs. You might want to use some pictures or diagrams. Now, you can draw these. Uh, yourselves or what you could do is if you are able to print the pictures from the powerpoints that we've used in the past and you can literally cut them out and stick them onto your uh, leaflet or copy and paste them onto a powerpoint now i'll say again please everybody do not think that you have to create a powerpoint or a web page or anything like that if you do i'm not going to be able to do that technically i'm going to show you how you can do a paper leaflet now using the things that we've given you okay so here's an example um, of a leaflet that can be created from the pages that we've sent to you. OK, so whether um, you are printing them off yourselves or you've been given the, the leaflet, you will get two pieces of paper which are worth sticking together back to back. So what you'll end up that went then with is the two pieces of paper back to back. And it looks like this. OK, so there's some boxes and some lines. And all I've done is I've folded them to split into three pieces into third. I've folded them one on top of the other like this. And you will then end up with a leaflet, front cover of the leaflet. And then when you open it, you've got different pages to be able to put the information in. And then you've got a back page as well there. And as you can see, what I've started to do, I've started to put some pictures, some labels um, and some information on. So the full cover would be your main title. So you might want to do colored pens if you've got them to make it look a bit more decorative. So main title, main heading. And you might want to draw a picture or again, if you can print them off or copy them on today, you can put a picture on. 
This first bit, as you can see on the screen, is your introduction. OK, so you need to put your introduction on the front so people know what you're writing about. OK, and then I'm going to just put screens because you go on to the inside then. So when you open it up, you might then want to write all about tourism in the Alps there. OK, tourism. OK, you might want to put your some pictures in the middle and put the landscape information. It doesn't really matter which paragraph you put where. You might want to have a look at which is your longest paragraph and make sure you use the inside for those as well. And then you might want to go on to the back where I've just put on the back there, okay? You might want to put a map on the back there, okay? Or use the back page uh, as your glossary. So that's where your technical information is explained, okay? So this is just an example of how you might like to present your work. But as I say, you could do it in a different way if you want to. If you want to just copy up your writing onto a single sheet, and put some of your own drawings on as well, that would be absolutely super as well. Okay, so the main focus of today is to check what you've written for all the things, the language, the structure, your uh, spellings, okay, and then copy it out onto whatever format you want to, the leaflet that we've sent you, or you could also do it on a PowerPoint as well. OK, it's really important, everybody, that when you have completed your work, you check it for a final time. OK, we would love to see these. So if you are able to send us a photograph or a copy of what you produce, um, then that would be super. Thank you for sending those in if you are able to. If you can't, please keep hold of them, because when you return to school, we'll hopefully be able to have a little look at them then. OK, well done, everybody. This has been a busy week for writing. But well, hopefully if you follow the steps a day at a time, you will have been able to complete it and make sure that you read your work out loud to somebody at home as well, because that okay, is why we've written. We've written to inform somebody as well, haven't you? OK, well done, everybody. See you very soon.